Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Overall, I would say... Damn, that last episode was hype. It was pretty good. <clears throat> I mean, shit. Those fight, these fight scenes, I swear, they're just getting better and better. And from what a lot of people say, they only get better and better, so... Awesome. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I heard from Matt that it gets pretty crazy here soon, so... It's just like... I, don't tell me anything, but thank you for hyping me up Jacob's even more. Friend, Matt. Huh? Like Jacob's friend, Matt? Yeah. Oh, he's watched this too? I think, yeah, he said that... He said he's watched it. Uh, but, yeah. I, uh... I just always, uh... You know, I've... I've always heard good things about this series, and now that I'm watching it, I can see why so many people recommend it. This is a top-level show. Yep. It is. In this humble uh, reactor's opinion, it is a it is a great, great anime. And, you know, that's what just sucks. Like anything else, I've seen people shit-talking this show online, and I'm just like, why do you people live such sad lives? Oh, I don't know. Probably it's the same excuse people had when they shit on The Witcher. For no other reason other than the fact that I've it existed. I've seen people shit on The Witcher. I've seen all kinds of people shit on Attack on Titan. I saw people shitting on Hunter x Hunter the other day. Uh-huh. I'm just like, dude. Like, somebody was like, Hunter x Hunter is basically just an exact copy of, like, something else. And they're like, it's, it's not unique at all. And I'm like, dude, it's like one of the only anime I've ever seen that actually has the balls to not draw out fight scenes for, like, ten episodes. Yeah. Like, they actually get to the point with shit and, like, tell a a really good story without like filling it up to the brim with filler like it's really badass well and plus the plot like never goes in a direction you expect it to it's like completely unique like I'm expecting from the way it starts out for it to be one type of anime and it turns out to be something completely different yeah, it completely evolves into something yeah. new it's, it's really really a good show I recommend it if nobody's seen it like if, if anybody here has not seen it yeah Hunter x Hunter's badass <clears throat> I'll take your word for from it. From what man. I've seen from season one and two, anyways. I'm only on towards the end of the second season right now, I think. Okay. Well. Maybe, <sighs> maybe the beginning of the third. I can't remember. But. Well, overall, I am I'm. I would say I'm very happy with Demon Plus, Slayer. Plus, I found out, I was looking it up, and I was like, oh, hey, Andrew. Like, because uh, I've been watching it with Andrew. I was like, you know why this show's so good? He's like, why is that? And I was like, it's written by the same dude who wrote Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, that's okay. a that's a good, yeah. it's a good thing." Didn't realize that when we first started watching it, and we had just watched Yu Yu like recently, so it's kind of funny. We ended up watching <laughs> both of his things. Yeah, and you enjoy both of them. Yeah, that's Very a good, good thing. Stuff. Well, <clears throat> we got uh, episode ten of uh, season one of uh, Demon Slayer queued up here together forever. It's also just neat to see like what somebody's. Stuff that looked like back when they wrote it in the 80s and it got animated in the 90s and then like that same person doing like a modern anime, you know, so mm -hmm. pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Very, very cool. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Decapitation! Decapitation! I didn't know he even had regular eyeballs until just now. Uh oh. Uh oh. There you go. Oh, damn, man. It's going to be too tired to do anything by the time that dude melts. Just die. Yeah, hurry up and die already. Bastard. Unless she runs once she realizes her friend is dead. So oh, I think her friend God. was giving her all her power. He's, he's pulling a, uh, he's pulling a, a Zoro. Rorono a Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
She's so sweet. <laughs> and pets. She couldn't kick him before, so either it's because he killed her friend, and she's just throwing him now. <laughs> it's like Zelda. Yeet! Yeet! Fighting yeet. Ganon, bopping the balls back and forth. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Bruh. この She meant by the curse that they tried to break. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> well, she screwed herself by... by, uh, just... <laughs> <coughs> so I guess they were lying about their rank or something. Maybe that's The hell is still left of her to make words. <laughs> Fucking anime with uh What? I was saying earlier, I was like, she's kinda cute. And then she got real ugly. And then he's like, I'm just a little kid. And I'm just like, ah! <laughs> Not only a true demon, he seems to be the true demon. Yep. Effectively, he's the Dracula of this story. I was gonna say, I'm getting like, uh, Dark Souls vibes because it's trying to make it like sad. Everybody he like kills, you know? Yeah. Even though they're demons, it's like got like a sadness to it. Hey. Oh. <laughs> She's giving out hugs to everybody. <laughs> <笑>ね。<笑><笑> Nezuko, Nezuko, 
人で亡くなっても生きたいと人で亡くなることは辛く悲しいそれでもあなたは生きたいと私たちはこの土地を去りますえ鬼仏寺に近づきすぎました早く身を隠さなければ危険な状況です特に子供や年配の方は鋭いのです炭治郎さんはい禰豆子さんは私たちがお預かりしましょうか<笑>そうかもしれない確かに預けた方が禰豆子のためにも I know that look. Tamaya san, o k i s k a a r i g a t o o s a i m a s Hanare Banari Nua n a r i m a s e n m o n i t o o a k a r i m a s t a o m a r a was a s a t o i k e Hi, s a r d e a t a m a a san m o y u s h i o s a m o Ogenki. Oh, hey, wait, it's sunlight out. お前の妹は美人だよ。え<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>っ、ああ、わかったからもう少し黙っててくれ。頼む、もうわかったから頼むよ。おお、ガーッ、ティム。わかったから He immediately just made me hate him. I would just be like, I just walk up behind the kid. And like, just that be, is not how it works, bro. Yeah, I just walk up behind him and just be like, I apologize. My friend is a little bit stupid. I wouldn't even acknowledge him as my friend. Just well, they're chopping him out and be like, Is that guy bothering you? He, he's a fellow demon slayer, so it, it's like, okay, instead of friend, it's just be like, I'm sorry, my associate seems to be. I'd be like, Just so you know,、stupid. he's like brand new. Like, so, uh, Yeah, he, he doesn't get it yet, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <sighs> But good lord, man. Not to mention, he like, fucking passed the test, so. Like, I don't know why he thinks he's so trash at being a Demon Slayer, unless he just hid in a log the whole fucking test or something. Either that, or he's just a natural, like, hypochondriac, or just, like, is constantly under worry that he's going to die. I don't know.、Uh, But what I do know is that,、uh, yeah, that.、Uh, Battle、uh, finally got resolved, and also we found out that、uh, Kibutsuji is effectively the only one who's able to destroy demon cells as a demon. Yeah. That's I figured. pretty wicked. And also that death of the,、uh, uh, the Tamari girl. So we destroys. Like, all of a sudden the head just comes out and just like smash. Dest- head destroyed. Holy hell. <laughs> Everybody gets my reference to what song I'm talking about. So I bet hardly anybody will. <laughs> May, I, who knows? Maybe so. If y'all got that reference, I mean, let Nick know in the comment section down below.、Uh, but yeah, this,、uh, this was a good episode because we got a resolution on the battle. Also,、uh, you know, we found out that. Uh, uh, we found out.、Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, about Kibutsuji being able to destroy demon cells. But we also、uh, got closure on the Tamari girl because it seems as though it seems as though,、uh, Tanjiro is actually able to、uh, sort of provide closure for some of these demons.、Uh, It's almost the- like the Assassin's Creed scenes where like, they, he talks to them before they're like, completely dead after like, the main assassinations or something. Yeah. Like some of them taunt him, and some of them like, I don't want to die. And he's like, It's all right. And he's like, You fucked up. And they're like, Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I, I remember the、uh, one,、uh, one of the ones from Assassin's Creed.、Uh, I forget which game it was from, but there was one guy you assassinated, and then everything was just like, he, You turn him over, and、uh, you're ready to like, read him his last rites and like, ask him if he has any regrets or if he wants to tell you anything. And as soon as you turn him over, His hand comes up and he starts choking you. It's like, oh shit. I don't remember that one. 
Uh, I think it was in Revelations. I forget. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I remember that guy. Like he he got like his hand came up and started choking me. I'm like, oh god, oh god, okay. Here I just we go. Remember again. the one dude at the end of one of the games. It was either like the third or so, like in the series, like not like numbered wise, but like the third one that came out or the fourth one that came out. And you get him towards the end, and he's basically just like, you've been fucking up this entire time because shit has been like this, and shit has been like this. And he basically, he kind of opens up the whole question of, like, who's really in the right between these two factions and stuff. Yeah. And that was one of the most memorable ones for me. It's yeah, like, hmm. I know that one. Yeah, it's the whole thing with, the, I think that was a Rodrigo Borgia. It could be. Because um, it's really like the whole thing is the perception of two different ways of handling things between two factions and neither of them is really a hundred percent right or a hundred percent wrong. It's like True. just in terms of like how it's been presented the whole time, it's presented more like the Templars are going about things, the more totalitarian and like evil way as opposed yeah. to like the more well, libertarian way it, of the assassins. It's you know? about, it's, oh yeah, the, it is more libertarian with the assassins. Uh, plus, but it, it, the thing is, power, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yeah. And uh, yeah. the one... That's kind of what the Templars are wanting to have. So. Yeah, they want absolute power. Whereas uh, uh, the... Um, uh, whereas mean the Assassin's... Didn't mean to actually derail us to an Assassin's Creed. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> uh, it, it's still rel- relative to some degree because, you know, assassinations, killing, and all that is relative to this because, hey, the show's called Demon Slayer, for God's sakes. But, yeah. yeah. I was wondering when that kid was going to show back up because I had seen something recently that made it kind of look like all those characters we had seen are definitely showing back up at different points. Oh, yeah. I, th- I think we saw part of the intro and he was in it a fair bit. Yeah. But Oh, yeah. It was that new intro that we watched. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. came out. <laughs> so it showed, like, all those characters again. God. All right. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, this was Demon Slayer Season 1, Episode 10, Together Forever. Uh, if you all are watching this right now on uh, YouTube and you want to watch the uh, full version, which I, or actually, if you want to watch the version that has footage, uh, blame Sony Music of Japan. It's down in the description, and also it'll be the first comment that you see down below as well. Also, if you want to see uh, more from us, I mean, there's that subscribe button, there's that bell you can ring to stay notified, there's a like button, it helps us out a whole lot. And I guess until next time, everybody, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out.